Hey flag football coaches and players, today I'm going to give you some fantastic advanced 6 on 6 flag football plays. Now let's get down to the clipboard, let's check out these plays, I hope that you enjoy. Okay, so now in this first play, what we're going to be looking to do is to try and get some running yardage. So what we are going to do here is to try and get player three. He's going to be going up five to ten yards and cutting out towards that left side, towards the center of the field. Next, we're going to be having player five cut out at the five yard downfield line. If this is a blocking league, we're going to be seeing players six and five block and three block farther downfield. If this is a non-blocking league, I want to see player six continue out straight and same as player four. Now I want player one to start running in this direction. Player two, he's going to be getting a handoff from player one and he's going to be going up that right side. Now off of the same play set, play number two is another fantastic one. Now if this is again a blocking league, player six is going to be blocking. If not, then he is going to be running straight downfield. We're also going to be seeing player two. He is going to be going five to ten yards downfield, cutting in towards the center of the field for two to three steps. And then he's going to continue downfield. Same as player three. Now, at the same time, what I want to see is player 4 and 5 curl out towards the sidelines. Player 1's main option, if he is right-handed, is going to be player 3. If not, it's going to be player 2. And then, our secondary options are going to be players 5 and 4, depending on the side that you would like to throw on. Of course, depending on the deep defense as well, if they've got a fast defender downfield, then you may want to go with the slower side as your main number one option. Now this next play is very heavy on long yardage. So of course if this is a blocking league five and six are both blocking. If not then what I want to see happen is player six will curl out left and five will curl out right. They are our backup options if they are not blocking for us. Next we're going to be having player two sprint straight downfield. He is our main backup option for long yardage. Now, what I want to see happen is player three, I want to see him do a curl for 10 to 15 yards downfield. And then what I want to see happen is player four. I want him to get 10 to 15 yards downfield. And as soon as player three cuts in front of player four, I want to see player four cut towards the sideline. What I really want to see is player 3 being our number 1 option. Our main backup is player 2 or player 4, depending on the side in which player 1 goes towards. Our, our third line backup, I should say, is going to be players 5 and 6. However, we are looking for longer yardage with this play. So now this next play, what we are going to be looking to do is get some shorter yardage but still some running yardage after the pass so what we're going to be looking to do here is have player 5 and 4 curl 10 15 or 20 yards downfield depending on how far you really need and then of course if this is a blocking league 6 and 2 are going to be blocking if not what I want to see happen is 6 to curl out at the line of scrimmage or 5 yards down and then what I want to see happen is player 2 to curl the opposite direction along the line of scrimmage. And I want to see a fake handoff from player 1 to player 3. And then I want to see player 3 go down 5 to 10 yards downfield and then cut back. Now what we are looking for, our main option is player 3 right in the middle of the field. However, our main backups are going to be a little bit farther downfield with players 5 and 4, and then player 6. Now these plays should absolutely destroy more, most teams, at least from what I have seen in 6-on-6 six six flag football. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.